Sheyi and Timilei eagerly gathered in their grandmother's hut in Iludun, surrounded by the warmth of familiar tales and the scents of traditional herbs. As the afternoon sun painted the room in golden hues, their grandmother, I know, a wise and gentle woman, began weaving a story that would unravel the mysteries of poverty. She started talking about how Sheyi was going to have a growth spot like a plant reaching for the sky. Grandma's words were like seeds of knowledge planted in Sheyi's eager mind. Sheyi's eyes widened with excitement and a hint of wonder as he envisioned the trans hands gestured gracefully, illustrating the growth that awaited Sheyi. She described how his arms would gradually elongate much like branches extending towards the sun and his legs would stretch allowing him to stand taller, stronger and more confident. The analogy of a plant becoming resilient and robust resonated with Shei connecting the natural world with his own body development. Then it was Timilei's turn. Grandma, with a twinkle in her eye, shifted her focus to Timilei, ready to unravel the unique journey that awaited her. Grandma began by describing the special time that would soon grace Timilei's life. A time when she would step into the realm of a young woman. She painted a metaphorical picture of a secret garden blooming inside Timilei. It was as though the seat of maturity has been sown within her already, patiently waiting to unfold into the vibrant colors of womanhood. Timilei nodded in silent acknowledgement. The mention of menstruation added a layer of depth to the narrative. Grandma delicately explained the natural circle that would become a part of Timilei's life, comparing it to the ebb and flow of the seasons in the village. Their grandma painted a picture of these changes like a beautiful puzzle coming together. She talked about Shei's voice getting deeper like a lion's roar and even a bit of facial hair making him look more grown up. But similarly, there will be subtle changes in her body, showing she has become a wonderful young lady. But it wasn't just all about things on the outside. Grandma also spoke about feelings like a roller coaster of emotion. She explained how Timilei and Sheyi might sometimes feel a bit confused or excited. And that it was all part of growing up. As the fire crackled and flickered, Timilei and Sheyi soaked up all the wise words from their grandma. They left the hut that day feeling like they had a special key to the mysteries of growing up. Children, I hope you have enjoyed the story today. Yes, it's about puberty. It's about telling you how your body will change, the changes that will happen in your body. But I want you to know that it's not only in your body alone, in your mind, in your spiritual life, a lot of things, emotion, a lot of things will be happening. If it has not started, it will start very soon. But let's hear the comfort of the Bible for you at this stage. The Bible says that it is a wonderful thing to be young in Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 9. It says, enjoy every minute of it. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 11 verse 9 says, young people, it's wonderful to be young. Enjoy every minute of it. Do everything you want to do. Take it all in. But remember that you must give an account to God for everything you do. So even as your body is changing, don't forget that God is expecting you to be able to do things that you will be happy to account for. Don't do things that you'll be ashamed of when you are in front of God. So this week, continue to live the life God has given you to live in His fear because you are going to get accountable. And as your body grows, enjoy the changes and give thanks to God for it. 
so don't forget if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel do so now 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 subscribe now share this video with your friends with family members like the video comment on it and make sure you continue to live by the teachings don't forget my name is Tihayori de Elizabeth and this is sexuality education nugget